Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here. Today I want to go over how to set up an actual website for when you are applying to Merch to show that you do have a web presence as well as marketing your shirts and getting your shirts out there on the web in other places besides Amazon. When you go to set up a website you are going to see a lot of different services out there that are usually very expensive and if you look at doing it yourself it's usually super complicated or it seems really complicated but i'm going to go over step by step how to set up a website and it should not take you much longer than 10 to 15 minutes it's a very simple process so you're going to be brought to a page that looks very similar to this and just type in whatever the name of your site that you want it to be so for this i've already picked out a domain but i'll show you what it looks like we might type in uh, merchmarketingtoday.com, okay? And all you have to do is click search, and it will bring up a page that looks like this. Now, you can, you can buy a lot of different types of domains with different endings on them, but as we see, the .com is, is available, and it's only $10.69 a year. So simply click this button, which will add it to your cart over here. And as you can see in this view cart and then you would check out now I already have a domain and as we can see here when you log into the back end you see this domain and a bunch of stuff you probably will not understand below it which is just fine you this is super simple process so there's really not much you need to do so once you're in the back end here it's time to just take a break we need to pick up what's called a web server and a web server is going to be a server that is at a different location which is going to store the actual files of your website now while this was only a one-time charge for a year fairly cheap at around ten dollars a web server is going to cost you monthly but I promise it's not that bad you head over to hostgator.com this is what I usually recommend for smaller websites or people just getting started you're going to see I believe I already clicked through here so if you go yeah this is the page you're gonna see you're gonna to wanna to click get started now which is going to bring you back to the page we were at and you want to sign up for the hatchling plan this is the smallest and cheapest plan they have I promise you don't need anything else to do this when you are going to sign up to become a customer uh, do not enter a domain to register here because remember we just bought one over at Namecheap. Simply click I already own this domain, enter in your domain here. Don't change the package type, but as you see the billing cycle is for 36 months. So that is a lot up front. What I would highly recommend is just choosing one month. So $10.95 a month. There is a coupon code you can use though. Fill out your billing info. You scroll down here, you're going to see add additional services. Uncheck these. You do not need them. Uh, it's, all it is is really just a money grab. It's really not going to affect your site in any way, so just make sure you uncheck them because you don't want to pay for something you don't need. As we can see down here, the price is $10.95, and it's already put in a coupon code for us. But what I did for you guys is I got a coupon for a single penny. So if you just type in Merch Informer Penny in all caps, in all caps, just like that, click on Validate. It'll come down here and you'll say, oh, it's $3. I thought it was a penny. Well, you can see they added on an add-on again. So simply scroll back up, uncheck that because we do not need it, and your amount due is going to be a single penny. Now this is great for, you know, you just want to try out getting a website up and running. You really can't complain for one cent. So go through the process, hit checkout now, get it all paid, and then you are you will want to log into your account. It was going to look just like this. Now there's going to be a lot of different, you know, different icons here. You probably won't have any idea what they are. I still have no idea what half this stuff is, but I promise you this is actually really, really simple. The first thing you want to do when you hit this page is scroll down and click on add-on domains. Now as we saw back here I picked up informermarketing.com. You want to enter in the new domain name. So simply informermarketing.com is going to give you a green check. Now if you click anywhere off 
bam, it's going to incorporate all the information for you. But the one important thing you need to remember to do is when it says document root, remove the public HTML slash. Just get rid of it, don't need it. Since we have a password in here, simply click add domain and let it do its thing. All right, there we go. It has done its thing. And all you need to do is click go back since we are done adding the domain to our actual account. So if it brings you back here, just simply click home at the top left hand corner. It's going to bring you right back where you started. Now there's only one more step. Actually, two more steps. Come down here all the way down to the bottom and on the left hand side you will see your account information some numbers and you'll see name servers you want to copy these name servers both of them and head back to namecheap so when you're on namecheap scroll down find the name server section as we see right here it's going to say namecheap basic dns click the down arrow and click on custom dns and paste go back to uh, hostgator Grab the second name server, copy it, paste. And when you scroll down, you're like, well, I, by now, what is that? No, all you need to do is on the right hand side of the name server, there's a green check mark. Click on save. Let it do its thing here. And as you can see, it says DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. So now that we're done with that process, now there's only a single step to go. Go back to HostGator. Now, what you're looking for is if you scroll down, look for the software and services section. And you see this little clock here, it says quick install. Click that, which will bring up a new page. Now I know this looks all fancy and a little complicated, complicated but it's really not. All you wanna do is click on WordPress you will see some prices here that you don't want to pay and neither do i so don't pay them you'll see this box here this is what we're looking for it's free so just click install wordpress there you will see a drop down here simply select the url of the domain that you just purchased now enter in an admin email a title a user uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I will use admin, but if you want it to be a lot more secure, make sure you pick something else. All you need to do is hit install WordPress. This will pop up. Click no thanks. You do not need that. As you can see, the install is running up at the top here, and it will finish pretty fast. There we go. Your install is complete. Click to view notifications. Simply click the down arrow, and you will see the information to log in to your website. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is remember when we set the domain name servers the dns is that it said it can take up to 48 hours so when we open this up it might not be displaying the login page right away and this is because we just haven't waited enough time so i'll go ahead and click this right now and see what happens that was pretty quick right it was only you know 30 seconds so simply come back here Grab your username and password and just copy and paste it right into the back end here and log in. And this is what the back end of WordPress looks like. So it asks you to do a little bit of setup. I will be making another video to show you how to actually set up a blog or you know something similar to Shopify where you will have your shirts displayed but for the time being all you need to know you can play around with any of the stuff in here but if you write if you click here where it says the name of your blog at the very top open up a new tab and this is what your website looks like now clearly you can add in a bunch of stuff add different pictures pick new themes it's all customizable but as you can see here is the URL informermarketing.com and here's your website live for anyone in the world to go view you just need to start filling it out start blogging start adding your images your pictures your t-shirts this is really just a way to get your information out there so if you follow all of these steps in order it shouldn't take you longer than I would say 15 minutes 
It's a fairly fast process to sign up. The startup costs, just so I'm clear, is going to be around $10 per year for the URL or the what's called the domain. And it's going to be a single penny for HostGator for the first month, which is the web server where all of these files are actually sitting on. So your startup cost is around you know, $10 to $11. It's going to be more if you keep paying for HostGator every single month, but it's really not that bad, you know, a couple bucks. But now you have an outlet to the world that you don't have to rely on organic traffic anymore. You can actually use a website to set up a landing page, drive traffic to it, either via AMS or Facebook marketing, or you can simply just use it to blog or display your shirts in a more professional manner. So that is all for today. I will be making videos in the future about how to customize WordPress or get it looking nice for your t-shirts. If there's any questions, make sure to drop them below. Like this video and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.